Great stuff. Okay, three minutes starting now. Hello, at Smaggle, we are building the event participants engagement platform to transform the audience into participant. COVID-19 shifted the online whole industry of workshops and training just overnight. Many facilitators and trainers started adjusting their business and faced pain points. Having an online video conference is essential, but covering only basic mechanics. Facilitators have to use several tools and still struggling to find the perfect fit. And more tools you're adding, more complicated it becomes. And more time should be spent on rules, synchronization, and explanations. Facilitators cannot feel the mood of the audience or track their involvement. Maggle see the solution as a single platform for covering interactive mechanics in a flexible and hyper-personalized way for organizers and participants. We are focusing on empowering collaboration between participants under the organizer's supervision. To validate the hypothesis, our team developed MVP with chatbot and breakout rooms management to be used with third-party video conference service. As a result, we ran several events and got early adopters ready to buy subscription for the MVP version. At this stage, we are targeting a few associations of facilitators and trainers in US and Australia. Plus, we selected 10,000 contacts in networking and matchmaking areas from around 5 million profiles of coaches and LinkedIn because we have a solution for them. Our planet business model is primary revenue generation activities on selling monthly subscriptions for organizers with unlimited events for predefined defined number of participants. And exceeding participants for a specific event can be added for 50 cents fee. We plan to extend customer base from initial target audience by running campaigns in AdWords and LinkedIn for short term results and networking and industry specific events in the middle long term and adding new mechanics as a solution for broader target audience. Here are some tools that are being used by our target audience at this moment and sometimes simultaneously. To recap our advantages, Zmaggle is focused on the specific needs of target audience by having built-in video conferencing around collaboration-centric activities. Plus, we covered the full cycle of running workshops and training sessions. Our core team consists of three people dedicated to Zmaggle. We all have decent experience in IT. We have been working together on various projects during the last five years. And at this moment, we are in process of inviting workshop industry experts into the team. At this stage, we are looking for 60,000 of US dollars of financing for the team extension, multi-cloud media infrastructure, and early adoption. Thank you for attention. I would be happy to address any questions you may get during my pitch. Super. Great. Thanks for the pitch, Ivan. So now, as you know, we have four minutes of Q&As from the judges. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Ivan. Thanks for a good presentation. Just a quick question on the, the your, what would be your key differentiator which differentiates you from all the big players who are trying to get a slice of this piece? Okay. So the our key differentiator is that we have very targeted solution for facilitators and trainers. Because right now, existing solutions, they are covering different components. And if I will go back to that slide, I can show you that there are different layers. Video conferencing like Zoom, they are, create, they are allowing you to, to share video and audio. But for facilitators, they have to go further. They should feel the mood of the audience. They should see what materials open it, actually. And they should have the seamless experience delivered for their audience. I can give you a very simple example. Let's say you're running a workshop and you have 50 people in a room. And if you have, if you need to separate them on breakout session, based it on their department or gender or combination of any parameters, you stack it because Zoom is not allowing you to do. And people should spend three or four minutes by manually selecting those people. And if they want to regenerate the group, they need to remember what they selected in the past. So this is very simple mechanic, which is hard in target audience at this specific moment. So it sounds to me a bit like you're taking the randomness out of some of these, let's call them networking activities, be it training, be it, it feels like a, a small group product rather than a mass conference product. Is that a fair assumption just based on the pricing? And that you're pricing per participant. 
So is it more about online learning for, for groups of like anything up to 50 people rather than it being a thousand person conference? Is that a, a reasonable assumption? This is very good. This is very good question. So this is our adoption strategy, actually. So we are starting from the specific groups and we selected networking experts and facilitators just because if I would show up in front of you and I will tell that I'm going to chase Zoom market, you know, with 60K of investment, it may be funny. So that's why we selected first group, but practically we are targeting all workshops and all events, potentially even conference, because when we're talking about hopping that and, and this brilliant sessions we're having right now, all of that mechanics can be implemented on our platform because we are covering not just during event activities. We want to cover pre-event, like preparational surveys. We have many ideas how we can summarize event for each participant and send personalized summary for the participant because this is also a huge pain. So we have like a bunch of features, but at this moment, we're just focusing on making done, you know, something on 100% to, to scratch the surface from the revenue standpoint. Hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I think the problem is that even if you now are the, I don't know, the most flexible, the, the best solution, you don't have strong barriers for the potential competitors that are going to enter sooner or later. And uh, it's, in my opinion, that actually you you are looking for uh, sixty thousand uh, dollars or euros or something like this but in my my opinion the the, the only possible way for such a project is uh, high marketing expenditure and building uh, i don't know petrification of the market so they recognize you as the only solution because i think if you're doing this bootstrapping or step by step uh, there will be a competitor sooner or later that will copy even your solution this is this is very good point. I would just address in a couple of seconds. So that's why we want to scratch the surface, and after that we can expand. Because in order to get next rounds, we should demonstrate traction. And rather than right now asking for five hundred thousands, I want to ask initially for a reasonable amount, create workable prototype for specific group, and expand later on. But definitely, if you will ask, do we want to chase for the you know whole Zoom market that they are covering right now? I would say, oh yeah, definitely. But I just want to be a, you know, a dreamer without having solid product. Mm -hmm.